Well, okay. looks like weather's going to be working out for mm -hmm. us. We've talked about the cool temperatures. We all got here early this morning when it was still not to the coldest temperatures uh, yet. In fact, we saw the temperatures go from the low 40s to the upper 30s out at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Let's go outside and see what's happening. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Go ahead. I'll say it. 360 Tower Cam. You can see uh, everything looking good out there. That's looking at uh, Lake Austin and then off into uh, North Austin for that matter. And oh, panning south a little bit, we can see the uh, downtown area. And really not a lot of moisture content in the atmosphere. I'll just tilt down just a little bit further. You can make out the outline of these buildings. Mind you, that's six miles away. In the summertime, you just get a silhouette. We really don't, uh, don't have the ability to see any of the detail of the downtown area. It also makes, it, uh, makes for a beautiful night. If you're heading downtown tonight, tomorrow night, whenever, it's, uh, the lighting that they do in the downtown area is beautiful. But on a clear, cool night, it's even better. And uh, the way things are shaping up, I think we'll have a few more of those. Outside, 76 degrees, sunshine, winds are calm. They have been up out of the north uh, at times. Humidity is low, 29%, so the air is dry. Dew point 41, pressure 30.17 and steady. Now, the, it's a high-pressure system that's sitting over us. You'll see the numbers like that. And uh, as it drops, as we lose the high pressure, they'll drop. You'll start seeing 29s and uh, such in here. Now, what we have out there from yesterday were temperatures that were only up to 80 degrees. We knew we had a pretty cold night as uh, we saw temperatures in the upper 70s in some spot, some spots. And then overnight, we got down to 38 degrees out at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. 51 here in Austin, 41 in Georgetown, 43 is to the east out in Bastrop, Giddings and Rockdale, 42 in LaGrange. And then out to the west, 41 in Fredericksburg, 43 for Mason and Lano, 45 in San Saba. Well, it was cool. That may be a little bit too cool for some animals. Tonight, I think you're going to have 40s and low 50s. I don't think you're going to see as many of the low 40s like we did. We have a lot of low 40s on this map here. I don't think you'll see the upper 30s tonight, but certainly plan for that in case you have some animals that may be stressed by that, maybe a little bit too cold for them, or plants, you know, it varies. You really use your best judgment on that. If uh, they're sensitive to cold temperatures, maybe it'd be another good night to keep them in. 70s area-wide, we almost have an 80. 79 in Lano right now, 77 in Fredericksburg, 77 for Lakeway and San Marcos. If you live in Lampasas, Passes, 73. San Saba, 74. Mason, 74. You may think, well, come on, that's a long way from Austin. Do folks really watch? Yep. I actually talked to some folks that watch us there. Uh, their cable channel there in Mason picks us up. So we uh, try to give you everybody's forecasted temperatures, and uh, that is including Mason, where they've had some pretty cold overnight temperatures as well the past couple of days. LaGrange, 76 degrees there, 73 in Giddings. Let's take a look at the satellite. Not much, is there? Nope. Looks, looks good. Sunshine is what we expect for today. Maybe a cloud or two running around out to the southwest of us. But the real pattern here is this. We're going to see a little bit of cloud cover and shower activity in deep south Texas with the winds shifting over to the south out of the next 24 hours. So let's put the forecast model in there. It tries to pick up on this. You'll see a couple of dots of white in here as I advance through the next couple of days. Now, this is 530 this evening, looking good. Tomorrow morning, still looking fine. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful for us. Notice a little bit of cloud cover. Now, we'll see a few thin clouds across the area tomorrow and maybe a little bit closer on Sunday. Here's Saturday night and into Sunday morning. You see some of that cloud cover and maybe a few showers there. We do not expect this to move anywhere near us Saturday, not really even on Sunday or Monday. So maybe on Tuesday, a possibility for showers. Today, 83. Winds out of the north at 5 to 10. Tonight, looking at temperatures down to the 50s and then upper 40s surrounding. Our forecast over the seven days ahead, obviously, is going to be beautiful weather for the start. And really, we could use some rainfall and maybe the rain would knock down some of the things we have in our allergy count. We've had fall elm and ragweed and grass and uh, mold for that matter. There's a chance for rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s overall. Not looking too bad. We're hoping.